Air Gunners, are you ready to live the good life? What are you waiting for? It is time to pick up a professional grade compressor, just like the Daystate Type 2 that I've been using for the past few months. This allowed me to spend more time shooting air guns, having chilled beverages on the patio, and most importantly, additional time with my wife and son. And if you notice what I did right there, I gave you the perfect excuse why to buy one of these bad boys. What do you say we take this compressor back into the shop and check out the details as well as a couple of hacks that will get you to the most out of your next purchase. Yeah, a professional high quality breathing air compressor like the Daystate Type 2 is not cheap, but neither is your time, wear and tear on your vehicle, and the gas required for trips back and forth at a dive shop or paintball store. And I'll tell you what, after a year of doing this, I realized I was spending 15 to 20 hours of my time on the road filling up tanks. And let's not forget the time I showed up to that shop and the store was closed. Don't tell me that hasn't happened to you too. So finally, doing what any reasonable PCP air gunner should do, I welcomed my new best friend into the shop. And I'd like to introduce you guys to the Daystate Type 2 compressor that I've been using. Before we get into the specifics, let's go ahead and hook up this Omega Patriot air cylinder. Yes, they are a sponsor for this show. And let's see how long it's going to take to fill this tank from empty. And then we'll go ahead and discuss some of the specifics as well as those hacks I mentioned. They're going to take your compressor experience to another level. Now, the Daystate Type 2 compressor, like you probably already know, is a Coultry MCH6 model. It's been around for years and runs off of 220 volts of electricity. And yes, you will need a specific 220 outlet, but lucky for you, your dryer likely runs off of 220, so you can borrow that outlet anytime you want to use your compressor. But you will also have to run to the hardware store because like other high-end compressors, this one does not come with a plug that you will need. Not unusual, and as a matter of fact, all high-end compressors that I've tested are the same way. So why pick the Daystate Type 2 versus another MCH6 compressor? Well, the truth is the Daystate Type 2 comes with a couple of features you're not going to find easily on a regular MCH6 compressor. And the first of these is the cage that you see surrounding this. You're spending thousands of dollars on a compressor that is likely to be in your shop. And the last thing you're going to want to do is bugger it up by dropping a tool or anything on this compressor that could damage it. And this cage is gonna protect this compressor and your investment for the long term. The second reason is that it comes with this awesome dial of pressure feature, and that is the gauge. And if you're gonna be filling up tanks as well as individual air guns from this compressor, especially if you're using it at a club, well, the ability to easily adjust the automatic shutoff is huge. You all know the dangers of overfilling your PCP, and this feature alone can help prevent this. Let's go ahead and get to specifics about this Daystate Type 2 compressor. First and foremost, it's going to be shipped to you in a large brown box via UPS, and that box comes very padded. It's going to protect your compressor very well. Second of all, it is a four-stage compressor, and each stage or piston that you're talking about is going to step up the pressure from ambient air all the way up to 4,500 PSI, which is exactly what we need to fill up these SCBA tanks. The first stage is going to take you to 90. The second stage takes you to 190 PSI. Third stage, pushing it up to 940 PSI. And finally, you're going to see 4,500 PSI after all that air gets pushed through the fourth stage. Even between each stage, you have cooling tubes that is going to help keep your compressor cool as well as to take out the moisture. Now, finally, you're going to notice this filter I have on top. This is the replaceable filter that this compressor uses, and there's a couple of different options. The compressor comes with a filter that can be used for breathing quality air, and I would continue to suggest to use these filters in your compressor. That way you get plenty of dry air, as well as knowing that it's going to be high quality air as well, because the price difference, it's negligible at that point. And what is this going to do? It does a couple of things. One, it's going to make sure that your air guns don't rust out from the inside. And two, it allows you to have good resale value on this compressor because it can be used for other things.
besides PCP air guns. So keep that in mind. Your value, your investment is going to be protected because you have good resale value. Before I touch on some of the maintenance aspects of this compressor, let's go ahead and touch base on one of those hacks that I mentioned earlier. And since this compressor has been around for a number of years, all you're gonna to need to do when it comes time to do maintenance, well, go pull up YouTube and check out all the how-to videos that are already out there. It is literally a gold mine. And I'm gonna post just a few of my favorites in the description below so you can check them out. But really, do a search for yourself and you'll see just how many videos and how-to videos there are on this compressor itself. One other thing, if you feel like you're gaining value from this review, or if you find yourself having watched several of my reviews on the Airgun Advisor channel, make sure you do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. By doing so, you're allowing me to bring you more reviews and keep this content fresh for you in the future. Maintenance, just like all compressors, the Dace 8 Type 2 compressor will require you to give it some love from time to time. And it's easy to keep track of your maintenance schedule with a built-in hour meter that you see right above the power switch. After the first five hours, it's an initial break-in period, you will need to do a complete oil change for the first time. Now, Daystate does you a real solid here. They provide plenty of oil, not only to fill the compressor when you first get it, but also to complete that first oil change. After every 50 hours, you're going to go ahead and do another oil change, and you can use the Daystate, or excuse me, the Coultry ST755 or 750, as well as the Andrel 755 oil. Time for another hat. Because there is a cage to protect this compressor from falling objects and general accidents, the oil drain is covered and a challenge to get to. You'll want to do yourself a favor, take out a Dremel cutoff wheel and knock out a hole in the side of the cage so you can easily access this oil drain. This is an easy to do modification and it's going to save you time as well as headaches in the future. Back to maintenance. All right, every 100 hours of use, you're going to need to replace the intake filter. Every 1,000 hours of use or five years, whichever comes first, you're going to go ahead and change the high pressure water oil separator as well as the fill hose and safety valves. And of course, after 3,000 hours, you'll also need to change the high pressure filter body. Now, let's talk about costs for this general maintenance. And they're as follows. Guys, an air filter cartridge is going to cost you around $30. The intake filter, $25. A liter of oil, well, $40, and that's two oil changes. 100-hour service kit, $220. Bucks. 500 hour service kit, 290, and of course a full service kit around 300. Does all of that expenditure make sense? Well, I did the math for you guys, and well, it's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. If you've been watching the clock in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you will notice that filling up this tank took me about approximately 20 minutes. If I was just topping it off, well, that would take me about five minutes. And if my calculations are correct, you'll be able to top off your tank 60 times or fill 15 empty tanks before you even hit that five hour break-in period. After that break-in oil change, you get 6,000 top-offs or 1,500 tank fills before the 500 hour service. And that's a lot of air gun fun and time and money saved if you ask me. Of course, this bad boy comes with its own user manual that can be downloaded from the internet should you want to review it prior to your compressor arriving. Let's talk about my third hack, and this is a simple one and an important one should you be wanting to fill individual PCPs at the club. The Dace compressor comes with standard with a DIN connector at the end of that hose, and that's what most tanks use, SCBA tanks specifically. However, if you're going to want to fill those individual guns, you're going to want to grab yourself a male QD adapter so you can easily run a hose to the compressor to your air gun if you plan to fill them individually. Guys, if you haven't checked out my other compressor reviews, you'll definitely want to do so by clicking one of the videos at the end. And if you find value in these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Guys, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, may your trigger pull stay smooth, your pellets fly straight, and we'll see you again next time on the Airgun Advisor.